time now for our science segment. And uh, today, of course, we are joined by Shirley Sitburn. Hi, Shirley. Uh, you're going to talk to us about bird flu today, I gather. So it's been uh, one of the worst outbreaks over the last two years. And I gather it's coming to an end. Well, it's uh, not coming to an end, but slowing down. At least in Europe, we can see that there are new outbreaks, but other ones are just... Uh fading away. So the French uh, the French government says uh, that soon, uh, well, bird farmers, people who uh, who, uh, who produce um, chicken, etc., well, they will be able to start working again. But let's look at the international perspective. This is Cambodia, and there was a terrible case last week in Cambodia, and great concern, because a young girl died of bird flu, which she contracted in this farm. And then her father was also ill, which is extremely rare. Humans rarely get the disease. H5N1 uh, is uh, the virus, which is extremely uh, lethal. So there was concern that the World Health Organization raised that maybe there was a transmission from a human to another human, which would have been extremely worrying. And Cambodian authorities say today that this is not the case. Two people of the same family got the disease, but they were both infected from birds, by birds, and not directly between them, which is reassuring. And as you've said, this outbreak for the last 18 months has been really terrible, the worst the world has ever faced. In Europe alone, 50,000 animals uh, died or were killed to stop the pandemic. And uh, in France, 25 million animals uh, died or were killed. Farmers are calling on the authorities to provide vaccines, but uh, I gather scientists are saying that that won't help solve this issue of bird flu. Yes, because there are various issues. First of all, uh, there aren't enough vaccines yet. Uh, you need different vaccines for different species. And, uh, well, for example, there's one vaccine that's been authorized for chickens, but other animals cannot get them, like ducks, for example, and ducks are the main emitters of this disease. So uh, there's concern. There's also uh, another concern because uh, scientists say that if we use the virus, well, uh, if the, sorry, not the virus, we use the vaccine, this means the virus is not over, will not uh, go away. And when the virus stays in the world in various areas, various regions, well, this means there is a greater risk that hum humans might get it one day or another. Uh, so that's uh, a real concern. So scientists say vaccines are fine, but they're not a solution. You need to really resolve this problem with this uh, epidemic. Uh, now, we talked about France. If I could say a word about the reopening of farms, well, there are, for, of course, cautions that must be taken. The government says, yes, you will start to farmers. He says you can start having birds again, but uh, slowly in small numbers because we don't want to start new outbreaks uh, in France uh, because there are some outbreaks out there. There's still animals that are you know, that are sick and that are being, uh, well, killed to, to block the epidemic. There's also, well, lockdowns of some birds because birds get the disease when they're outside. They get them through water uh, and get them outside because they get them from wild birds. And actually, maybe you can see, yes, you can see those wild birds. They're, there's something that has never been Ooh. seen before. So many wild uh, birds, wild ducks have died from this epidemic in the past 18 months, mainly mm. recently. This is just in France alone. Wow. This is a vaccination images. Uh, so the idea is to stop this uh, as soon as possible and to go about this slowly so the disease does not uh, develop again, does not spread. Authorities are trying to be cautious, but there's great concern across the world. Like new areas are, are reached now, even in South America, where there was never um, bird flu before this year. Thanks very much, uh, Shirley, for that uh, update. Bird flu, indeed. Thank you very much, Shirley. Sit bond there. Time now for our third.